In fact, I'm an old farm boy, and I asked Ann one time, why do you pick wheat? Alfalfa is a much superior plant over wheat. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on out there, but fruits have always been the top of the line in detoxifying the lymphatic system. Lemons, citruses, grapes in particular. A lot of people go on grape fast here. We had a famous model. She went 43 days grapes and lemons and no more longer bone cancer left. We see a ton of these sort of things because that's what, how you move the lymph system. And at the same time, you're fixing the kidneys, the adrenal glands that controls the kidneys. We have programs that our focus is right into the causative factors. You focus on the cause of things, you will always have a remedy. You'll always have a cure at the end. You focus on the symptom, and you'll never have a remedy, and you'll never fix the cause of it, and life will just get worse. So uh, I'm glad you're viewing these videos, but any type of congestive problem, you simply have to detox. Cold and flu-like symptoms, you really want them. There's no such thing as a cold and flu-like symptom that's a disease. Anything can trigger the body to detoxify itself. Your body is a self-cleaning body, a self-healing body. You cut yourself, it heals itself. It'll clean itself out, but the trigger Learn the trigger. The trigger of detoxification has always been base or alkaline chemistry. That's fruits and vegetables to start you detoxifying. I can, if you're a, a lot of congestion in the hospital, I can just hook a bag of normal saline on you, which is common, and give you pneumonia. Pneumonia isn't a disease. It's a body expectorating, cleaning its lungs out. They blame pneumonia on pneumococcus, yet in 40% of the cases of pneumonia, there's no pneumococcus present. Uh, how can that be? Because it's a mucus condition. Pneumococcus, this bacterium is just helping break down the mucus and the acids that, that's present in the lungs. I will tell you this before I get done with the video, that milk and dairy products are the most mucus-forming uh, foods on the planet. I barely call them foods. I think that the Dairymen's Association and these people need to be uh, put in tri on trial for selling products that are causing cancers and causing tumors in people instead of selling healthy foods. There's no, no such thing as healthy milk once you cook it, and there's no such thing as a healthy cow's milk for a human. Even little babies with raw cow's milk get a lot of colicky and mucus problems. These formulas that they make for babies, high fats and, and, and high proteins, this is, this is real bad for babies, particularly if they're any compromised in the gallbladder or liver. We had one, one poor little baby that, because he threw up so much with these formulas, because he couldn't deal with fats, they tied his stomach around his esophagus. This is the kind of insanity that's out there. And, and, and all you had to do, we changed that baby to fruits, and this baby started doing better and better and better and better because that baby's not designed for a high-fat, high-protein diet. We're not herbivores. We don't gain a 1,000 pounds in two years. You know, you have to understand there's differences. Milk in, in, in uh, frugivores, humans, even in goats, omnivores, even in cows, are alkaline milks, unless you cook them. And then you, you cook them, you make them very acidic. Chemistry starts bonding. So when they tell you you're going to get calcium out of pasteurized milk, they must be smoking something in the back room. Because in chemistry, that's impossible. You bonded that chemistry so tight, the average human can't digest that milk or break it apart for one very important reason. After age two, you lose the enzymes to digest it. I don't know if those of you that are older remember C. Everett Coop. C. Everett Coop was the United States Surgeon General, and they fired him when he made a statement that he said milk may be bad for kids, and they fired him one month later. He was telling the truth. You know, it's funny how the government lets people go when they want to tell the truth, how George Bruce fired all these top uh, lawyers because they were too truthful. So now we have a bunch of crooked lawyers and, and, and Department of Justice lawyers that are crooked as the day is long. You know, it's a sad thing here. We want honesty. We want integrity in our government people, in our lawyers, in our judicial system. We want honesty in our food sources. We want honesty. Why? The money isn't worth it. It isn't worth it when you have cancer. When you have cancer and you're dying, money doesn't mean anything anymore to you. So and that goes for everybody on the planet. I don't care who you are, whether you're an IMF president, you're vulnerable. If you're a crook, now, if you eat bad, you're going to pay the price. And so we need to straighten things around a little bit. 
So I hate to get off on the subject, so forgive me, but I have a passion for, uh, I'm a God man. And uh, uh, I, I'm here to help people regain their godly natures and to help this planet to understand that their health systems are messed up. And we need to correct them because we're hurting too many people by this ridiculous concept of allopathic treatments and diseases which doesn't exist. So if you're full of mucus and pneumonias, clean yourself out of all this mucus. You eat a lot of fruits. There's a lot of herbs that clean the mucus out of the lungs and sinuses. Uh, we have lung formulas. There's, there's just a lot of herbs great for this sort of thing. Diet change alone will detoxify the body. Cold air is alkaline. You can walk out in the cold and catch a cold. You didn't catch anything. Your body's detoxifying itself. Sure, an overgrowth of bacteria can create a detoxification. Seen that happen. But it's a purging. And understand the difference. European medical doctors always told American medical doctors, quit treating cold and flu-like symptoms. Look at all the children that died from using these over-the-counter cold and flu-like uh, medications. Ridiculous to kill somebody over congestion. Quit feeding everybody the milk after age two. You can't digest milk anymore. You're supposed to be weaned. I've got so many babies full of cancer that I have to wean them at one-year-old. When you've got one-year-old kids with uh, liver cancers, we have a seven-month-old with liver cancers and stuff, you know, you can't, you, you just have to change the way we look at things because we have some very serious problems. You can't fill these kids full of chemo and kill them and then just keep going down that road. St. Jude, you're going to pay a price one of these days. You're killing too many kids. Wake up. We've got to wake up because this is, we won't have a planet anymore. And health is simple. Health is fun. Honesty is simple. Honesty is fun. God is simple and God is fun. So you guys, thank you for listening. Uh, I hope I didn't get too much off on a tangent. I have a lot of passion here. I've been fighting for honesty, integrity in the court systems and everything for you guys as well as for myself. And so we just need to all get together and hold hands because we're all here on this planet together. We're enjoying the planet. Uh, everybody's going to leave sometime, so it's just a temporary stay here. Let's make it nice. So uh, I love you all and thank you a lot for watching.